and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be power leveling Alchemist from 1 to 50. And as always, hello from Blue Sideburns. So, Blue Sideburns already has leveled up Level Worker Weaver and Culinarian to 50 using the power leveling method, and it's going to be much of the same thing. So, the very first thing you do, you come to the appropriate guild, which in this case is Alchemist, which is in Uldar, right at the top floor. And we've already unlocked it, so now we're going to talk to Severian and do the level 1 quest. And to finish the level 1 quest, we simply need to turn in a 1 distilled water. Just 1. So let's hand that over, hand over. Done. If it's your first time ever doing the craft, I would recommend paying attention to the story. The alchemist story is really epic, actually. So what we're now going to do... We're going to start immediately with leaves. We're not going to even wait. Leaves all the way to 50. I've got 100 allowances, so we're going to go straight to it. So let's go straight to the Adventurers Guild. And I prepared all the materials ahead of time. I will list in the description, as usual, all of the materials needed, what leaves I've done and stuff like that. That's just standard. And let's see. So the very first leave quest, you always be come to the adventurers guild within the town of your guild so because for example the alchemist guild is here in order you come to the adventurers guild here here in order and you speak to the leave guy in order he's called ustace and you say here trade craft leaves because i'm already equipped with my alchemist items i it automatically selects the alchemist option from the menu and then let's see so this one gives 1700 exp this one gives 480, this one gives 1,000. So obviously we're going to go for the one that gives the most, which is 1,700 one. And we need to give in a leather Grimoire. So let's accept that. Okay, and that's it. So leather Grimoire, we turn it in just outside of the guild. So let's do that now. And the point of the power leveling, guys, is that these materials were prepared ahead of time by uh, someone else in, in my case obviously Mifri and if you have any items as well like friendship circlets or Moogle cap or whatever sorry not Moogle cap helm of light and stuff whatever will boost your experience for the first few levels you might as well wear them because they do affect crafting as well so for for this we're going to wear this item the the Sorry, the Helm of Light, because it's more available than the Friendship Circlet. So that's where that. And so just boost the XP for the first 10 levels. We're going to hand over the Lever Grimoire. Hand over. Yes, because I'm turning in a high quality, it means I get double the reward. So rather than getting just 1,700, I get another 100% reward, which will give me a total of more than 3,500 in this case. So let's complete. So you see, I've got 3,540 experience which took me within a whisper, just an inch, a millimeter from level 5. Barely, barely just out of um, out of date. So not out of date, sorry, just not good enough. So what I need to do, I need to make another item to um, just hit myself straight to level 5. Cool. So now we're at the Alchemist Guild. Remember to take advantage of the Aethernet system in the game, guys. It really saves a lot of time. So for the sake of getting just 60 more um, experience, let's see, we have basic touch. That's all we need. We're going to just make a, like, distilled water or something. So we can buy, we need a muddy water from the vendor. So let's see here, muddy water. Let's buy one for 14 gil. Yeah, I think that's within our budget, 14 gil. And let's um, turn it, let's craft it now, get to level uh, 5. So synthesize, and synthesize. Boom, level 5, pro. Blue is now a master crafter. So let's now do the level 5 quest from Severian. So accept, yes, 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 yes. And this quest requires, a level 5 quest requires us to return in free antidotes. It doesn't matter if they're high quality or not. It doesn't make any difference. Not yet, at least. It's not until later that you have to do high quality. That's it. So, for, for the sake of this, I'm just going to be taking the tin pieces because I don't need any of the items. So that's it. That's level 5. 
So now let's go back to the Adventurers Guild and let's see the next leave quest to get us from level 5 to level 10. And it will be very, very quick, guys. It really is a very fast process. So, and like I said, this is a power leveling guide, so of course it is. So once we get to level 10, we'll wear our goblin mask again, just for the sake of it. So anyway, leave guy. Tradecraft leaves, as always. And then which one? So 2,100, 3,400, 500. So 3,400 is obviously the highest one. We need for this whispering maple ones. So let's do it. We need to go to the Scorpion Crossing, which is just in the in Western Fanaland, just outside of the gate. So the quickest way to get there is to run to the Aethernet. And using the Aethernet, you can teleport straight out of the Western Fanaland gate, the gate of the Sultana. Okay, so going straight out the gate, it's a very, very short ride down the ramp that's the scorpion crossing right there it's the very first town that you get to in western fanalan and we're going to turn this quest in and i'm anticipating having to turn this in roughly uh, three times to get it uh, finished to level 10 i'm not going to be showing the turn in every time because that might be a bit tedious but i will do my best to show as much as i can so just so you get an idea. So you come to the leave guy, you turn in the quest. A quicker way of turning in the item is to rather than, for example, dragging it from your bag to the thing. So rather than dragging it like this and finding it in your bag, what you can do is you can select the quest turn in box. You can put your mouse over this um, turn in, right click, and it will automatically select any of the qualifying items for you and then you just select one click hand over done so rather than searching for your bags for the item it's done 100% bonus because it was high quality so there we go we're now level seven so like I said I'm anticipating anything from three to five times I will confirm um, how many are needed and then once I'm level 10 we will continue Okay, so we managed to hit level 10 by turning in the leave quest a total of five times. So we had to turn in five of these uh, whispering maple ones. And now we're back at the Alchemist Guild, so we need to talk to Severin and accept the level 10 quest. So let's do that now. Accept. Yes, yes, yes. Do Like I said, do pay attention to the quest um, as is needed. Okay, so we got our 12 beeswax. I just forgot them in the... Where I should have got them from. So let's finish. Yep, complete, complete. So that's now the level 10 quest done. So we're going to quickly run back to the leave quest and then do what we need to do for levels 10 to 15. So I do recommend doing the different level quests along the way just so that you don't at level 50 suddenly have to do all of the class quests from level 1 to 50 just do them side by side put the preparation of mats into the calculations because it's important to do that because in the expansion it's going to you know and go on from the level 50 quest towards the level 60 quest so there's no point skipping them so again we're back at the trade the leave meat trade craft leaves so this one 7600 4400 7,700. So obviously the one that's actually here pays more than the one that's in Horizon. So this one, Morning Glass of Ether. We need to turn in Ethers. So let's accept. Boom. Done. So let's now turn them in. And thankfully from the Adventurers Guild, turning them in is just a very, very short run. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, hand over, hand over, boom, because it's high quality, 100% bonus, complete, done. So from that we got 15,000 experience, and we're now level 11 already. I'm anticipating having to turn this in six times in total in order to get to level 15. So once I am level 15, we will continue. 
Okay, so we turned in that quest a total of, let me see, six times. So we turned in 18 high quality ephers to get to level 15. So now we're back with Severin to the level 15 quests. So let's do that. Done, done, done. The story I said, the Alchemist quest is really interesting, so it's worth paying attention to. And then a potion of intelligence and a potion of dexterity. Still, it is not required at the high quality. I just turned them in all high quality because, you know, I'm I'm crazy like that. So, let's see. So we actually now have to go to the Gladiator Guild to turn in the rest of the quest. We haven't quite finished the quest yet. Sometimes the quests for crafting are multiple parts. It's not just a case of give mats and you're done. So let's go to the Gladiator's Guild. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Let's turn it in, let's turn it in. So we're giving it to Aradara. Hand over, hand over. Done, yes. Done. Now we need to go back to Severian. And I said, this is why you should read the quest text to find out why you're turning in certain items to certain people. There is reasons for all of this stuff. We're just skipping it for the sake of this guide. Let's see, let's see. So let's go over here. Jump, jump, jump. Turn into Severian. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Complete, complete. Done. So that's the level 15 quest done. So now let's go back to the Adventurer's Guild and find out what leave quests we're going to do from level 15 to 20. And as you can see, guys, it's really, really fast. It's a really simple process. When you have all the materials prepared by a friend or otherwise, you spend more time running and turning in quests than actually, like, well, you spend more time traveling to turn in quests than actually turning them in. So anyway, here's the leave meat. So again, Tradecraft leaves. So this one, 13,000, 12,000, 8,000. So you want this Kiss of Life, which will require us to travel back and forth to Camp Drybone. So let's accept, and we have to turn in potions of Vitality. So what we're going to do is, we're going to teleport now to Camp Drybone. Let's do that now. And one thing you can do, when you need to teleport far away, it's worth for the sake of it, because you're going to be doing it a few times to set it as one of your favored teleport destinations, just to save a bit of gill. So the way you do that, click on the A for I, click on register favored destination, and which one I'm gonna replace, I'm gonna replace Camp Dragon Head for now with Camp Drybone, because I'm gonna be coming back here a few times for this quest. Okay, hand in, yes, hand in these potions of vitality, yes. Boom, boom, 100%, high quality, we got 26, thousand experience straight to level 16 so i am anticipating having to turn this quest in roughly eight times to get to level 20 and we will see um, how long it took at level 20 so when we're level 20 we will continue okay so we turned in the quest in camp dry bone a total of eight times turning in 24 potions of vitality to hit level 20 so we're now back at the alchemist guild to do the level 20 quest so let's do that now get through it as quickly as we possibly can as always remember guys there's a power leveling guide that's the point but please pay attention to it as well it is really fun so we want here a material enchanted enhanced engraved hard leather grimmer it doesn't matter what material of enchanted it with so just get the cheapest possible material you can from the market board okay so let's com done finish complete done so that's the level 20 quest done. So now let's go straight back to the Adventurer's Guild. Boom. So we're progressing on very nicely, guys. Very quickly. It's a very simple process once you have all the mats ready. And, you know, very soon we can just enjoy another class at level 50. So again, Tradecraft leaves. So here, 12,000, 5,000, 20,500. So obviously we're going to go for this one. We have to turn in bottles of Enchanted Ink in Quarry Mill. So let's go there now. So teleport, Quarry Mill, let's go. 
And this is also part of the reason, guy, why I said, like, finish your main scenario first and then do your crafting and gathering. Because by then, you have everything unlocked. You can teleport around the whole world as quickly as you like, rather than having to travel to different places for the sake of this. So anyway, let's turn in this quest. Hand over. Yes, hand over. High quality, yep. Yeah. So this one turn is going to give us 41,000 experience because we turned in high quality. And as before, click on the A for I, say register favor destination because we're going to be coming here a few times. We'll replace Camp Drybone for now. And that's it. So I'm anticipating having to turn this in a total of, let me see, nine times. And we'll see how many times it took once we hit level 25. So once we're level 25, we will continue okay so we've hit level 25 and we did the leave quest a total of nine times turning in 27 high quality enchanted silver inks and now we're back at the alchemist guild to do the level 25 quest so let's accept turn in and it's from basically level 25 where they start demanding high quality turn-ins. So level 25 is when high quality turn-ins have to be brought to the guilds. So let's complete, complete. So let's see, let's see. Let's hand, over, hand in, we've done it. So let's go now back to the Adventurers Guild and do the 25 to 30 leave quests. Cool. Let's go, let's go. Back of the good old quicksand. Here's the leave me. We want, let's see, tradecraft leaves. So, let's see. So this one, 33,000, 19,000, 8,500. So obviously we want the 33,000 one again in Quarry Mill to turn in clear glass lenses. So again, let's go back to Quarry Mill. Okay, okay. Right, so let's hand it in. And obviously 33,000 times two is 66,000. So that's a ton of experience to be getting per leave given that it's only 95,000 per level at the moment. So there we go, level 26. So I'm anticipating having to turn in this leave quest a total of nine times in order to get to level 30. So once we're level 30, we will continue. Okay, so we hit level 30 by turning in nine clear glass lenses for the leave quest glazed and confused in Quarry Mill. So we're back with Severin in the Alchemist Guild. So let's do the level 30 quest as quickly as we can. Okay, let's do this. Hand over these high quality weak blinding potions. Okay, let's skip the cutscene as usual. Done. So we need to hand these uh, weak blinding potions to the client. And the client is right here. So the quickest teleport is to go to the Weaver's Guild. So let's go Weaver's Guild. So let's run, let's run. Let's get there as quickly as we possibly can. Here we go, here is the client called Weebulia. I do love the names in this game, they are quite something. They are definitely unique. Okay, so let's go back to the Alchemist Guild, again using the Aethernet. Cool. So wow, level 30 already, that was really fast, isn't it? I mean, for anyone watching on uh, YouTube, I mean, I guess you you guys know how quick the power leveling guides can be, and I'm trying to make them quicker and quicker every time as well to just get to the point. There's only, there's less than two months to go until the expansion at this point, so. You know, we, we really have to push it now. We have to, if we want to get 50 everything before the expansion, we have to push it, but hopefully there, there should be enough time to hit level 50 everything in crafting and so on before the expansion. I have I don't know yet if I'm gonna be leveling up my gathering to level fifty everything before the expansion on my ults as well, but 
We'll see. Uh, we'll see if I can squeeze that in. But that will be a challenge to try and get that done in time. But I've already got it all done on Mifri anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this. So let's see. So the leave quest we're now going to do. So let's see. Tradecraft leaves. This one gives 17,000, 30,000, 47,000 in Costa del Sol. So obviously we're going to do the Costa del Sol one, which requires turning in high uh, potions of strength. Uh, let's see. So let's go to Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol was already a favorite destination anyway, because I love going there. Well, thankfully, it's not too far to run from the A for right to the quest turn in. So let's let's do that now. Okay, let's go. Boom. So let's turn that in. High quality. Hand over. Hand over. Yes. Complete. Done. So from that one leave, we got 95,648 experience for turning in free high quality high potions of strength, which is just crazy. So I'm anticipating having to turn this in 11 times to get from 30 to 35. So once we are level 35, we will continue. Okay, so we've hit level 35. I had to turn in 33 high quality, sorry, high potions of strength, um, which was 11 turn-ins for the leave quest, just give him a serum in Costa del Sol. And now, again, we're back with Severian here in the Alchemist Guild, so let's accept the level 35 quest. Okay. So for this, we need to, oops, we need to talk actually to D. Rich, or, who is right there at the counter, so let's speak to them. Wow, he speaks quickly. He looks very much like Fancred. And let's go back to Severian. And let's go. Yep. So apparently, so, um, you know, Fancred has been moonlighting the signs of the Seventh Dawn, and he also works behind the counter in the Alchemist Guild. With a fake name for tax purposes, for obvious reasons. So anyway, let's, um, let's go and do the next leave quest to get us to level 40. So let's go. So we're going to teleport again. Oops, wrong place, completely wrong place. Yeah. So, actually, we want the Adventurer's Guild. Smooth, Blue, teleporting to the wrong place. Right. So, let's go. Adventurer's Guild, yet again. So, we're almost there, guys. Three more sets of leave quests and we'll be 50. Just like that. It's such a simple process. So, leave guy, tradecraft leaves... We, let's see, so 41,000, 65,000, 23,000. So obviously we want the 65,000 one in the Observatorium in uh, Corphus. So we're going to teleport now to Camp Drybone. You have two choices of how you get quickly to the Observatorium. You can either teleport to Full Goat Flow in North Shroud and run through the zone line to the Observatorium. Or you can run to Camp Drybone like I'm doing right now. Teleport to Camp Drybone, and you can just run straight south to the Observatorium. As before, we're going to go for the Aetherite, set favor destination, replace Quarry Mill for now. Just so that every time we teleport back here, it's a cheaper price and save ourselves some gill. And then, to get to the Observatorium from Camp Dragonhead, you just have to run south for like a minute. And you can turn into leave right there. Unfortunately, there basically isn't any... Aetherite in the observatorium directly. So you just have to do this run. You just have to get used to it. And that's just how it is. That's the price of success. It can't be super easy where you're just standing there turning it in. Otherwise you'd have bots doing it. So there has to be some traveling involved. And it is an MMO. MMOs are about traveling and exploring the world and stuff like that. So it's not that too bad. If you're doing this while like watching a movie or listening to some music or whatever, then it goes by very, very fast, that's for sure. So we're almost there now at the um, first Dicastrial Observatorium of Ethereal and Astrological Phenomena. 
that is quite the special name of a zone. I've never seen a name longer in of any place in any game ever. So let's um, okay, hand it in. So we're doing budding oak wands. Hand over. Yes. Done. So for that, we got 130,000 experience. So if we could do the Dr. Um, Evil emote, and you just put your little finger to the edge of your mouth, we could do that. 130 billion EXP. And anyway, so when we hit level 40, we will see how many times we have to turn it in, and then we will continue. Okay, so we managed to hit level 40 by turning in 11 budding oak wands for the leave alive and unwell at the observatorium in Corphus. So we're now back to do the level 40 quest with Severian. And he says, hum hum he he ha ha mu ha 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 ha. Okay, so let's continue. Let's turn in. We need to turn in a free high quality high potions of strength. I think that, that's what the, the mistake I made. I should have turned in 11 of the strengths. I only turned in 10. So that's why I was a bit short, so I had to do 11 budding ones. So you can do either way, uh, but just do whatever it takes to get to 40. So anyway, let's go back to the Adventurer's Guild to accept the next quest. Let's see, let's see. The quicksands. Hello, back again. So Tradecraft leaves. So, 54,000, 32,000, 84,000. So, obviously, we're going to be doing this one. And we have to go to White Brim Front. So, let's accept. And White Brim Front is to the west of Camp Dragonhead. So, we're going to be teleporting again to Camp Dragonhead. And thankfully, it's already a favored destination. Teleport. Okay, okay. So, where you need to go, you leave Camp Dragonhead, you run to the west to White Brim Front, which is right here, and you turn in the leaves right there. So, again, it's going to involve a lot of running, but whatever. We're at the home stretch now, guys. We have less than 10 levels to go, and then we'll be 50 Alchemists. So, we don't have to worry about Alchemist anymore once that's done until the expansion. And it was just great to get it off the list, absolutely. And this is our future right here. The uh, Gates of Judgment to head towards Ishgard. And we will see how glorious that day will be when we can finally get through that gate. I really, really can't wait at this point. It's going to be really awesome. Flying mounts, flying chocobos, flying dragons, flying everything. And I'm hoping by then I'll have some upgraded equipment so I can increase the graphic settings quite a lot. So, let's see. So, almost a white brim front. You don't have to run around to the entrance. You can actually use this section of the cliff to jump over the wall to get in there quicker. So, you see, we ran straight over the wall, straight in. Didn't even take very much fall damage at all. Turn in the leave quests. So, let's turn it in now. So, we need to turn in... Mega potions. Let's hand over. Yes. High quality. Yep. So for that, we got 167,000 experience. We almost hit level 41 in one go. So I'm anticipating having to turn this quest in 11 times to hit level 45. So once we hit level 45, we will continue. Okay, so we managed to hit level 45 by turning in 33 Mega Potions for the leave a patch-up place in White Brim Front. So, as always, we're back now in the Alchemist Guild to do the level 45 quest. Cool. 
and we need to turn into him a high quality mega potion of intelligence, high quality mega potion of mind, and a high quality mega potion of vitality. Done, finish, complete. Boom. Now we're going to head to the Adventurer's Guild to accept the last series of quests in order to get to level 50. So 1 to 50, just like that, very straightforward. It might seem a little bit grindy, guys, if you haven't done this before, but it's totally worth it. It's very, very much worth it. So let's see, let's see. We're going to be accepting the last quest now from the leave counter. So anyway, so very last set of Tradecraft leaves. So Sleepless Silver Tear gives 106,000, 67,000, 40,000. So obviously we want this one to turn in some potent sleeping potions in St. Connard's Find. So the quickest way to get there is to teleport to Revenant's Toll in Mordona and then run. So that's it. This is the last leave quest, guys. So... You know, I hope you like my style on YouTube of how I do my power leveling guides. But I'm also catering to new players as well. I'll do it solo if you don't want to be power leveled or boosted. So I do have guides for both ways. You know, the do-it-yourself way or the have-someone-help-you way. Um, just pick whichever way you like, um, you know. Or don't use any of my guides and just do it 100% yourself. Just work it out. It's like, why, why not? It's like... Um, you know, you don't have to follow guides to finish the game. But I just try to make sure in my guides and stuff on YouTube that people don't waste unnecessary time. Because life is precious, guys. Time is so short. You know, life is so short. You know, so if I can save you time doing things in game to allow you to do more things in real life, then mission accomplished. That's what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel and my guides and videos. So, anyway... We are now here in St. Connor's Fine. St. Connor's Fine. That's Revenant's Toll. That's St. Connor's Fine. That's where you turn in the quests. So let's turn in this one to Sai Hand over, hand over. Yes. Let's see. So now this is the insane part of the grind. So now we're in the region of 213,000 experience per leave, which is nuts. And I'm anticipating having to turn this in 11 times in total, so 10 more times in order to hit level 50. So when we're about to hit level 50, we will continue and we will conclude this power leveling guide. Okay guys, so we made it. This is the end. So we're now turning in the last leave. Hand over, hand over. And complete. And we are done. We are level 50 Alchemist, and we've earned Comfort Zone, which is a very, very useful ability later on in the game, absolutely. So let's now go back to Aldar, do the level 50 quest, get our level 50 crafting tool, and we're done. So it wasn't so bad in the end, was it, guys? If the, you know, if you followed the Power 11 guide beginning to end, it really shouldn't have taken that long, maybe a couple of hours to get it all done beginning to end. Maybe half a day even, when including gathering the mats. But it's still only half a day to get it all done. Like, it's not that big of a deal at all. Let's teleport to the Alchemist Guild. And the Alchemist quest is actually one of my favorites when it comes to the crafts. I won't show the video here. I've already got it done before. Um, so I might, I'll try and link that in the description of the video as well. But yeah, so let's accept the level 50 quest. I won't spoil the story as well in case you want to see it yourself. So now we have to find w, w. Bulia. So let's teleport again to the Weaver's Guild. Righty, righty, righty. Let's see, let's see. Here is W. Bulia. Cool. So we have to learn more from the free admirers, apparently. Okay, they're out around here, so let's go. Let's 
level 50 quests tend to be a bit more involved because at the end of the day they're, they're the level 50 quests they're like the end of the current story before the expansion but we can get it done no problem so let's quickly go through it okay so that's that one done and the last one is right there. So in case you wonder sometimes why these random NPCs are in the game, pretty much every NPC that's got a name has got is linked to a quest in the game, but it can be a random quest. So you just eventually have to keep doing all the quests in the game and you'll find the use for every NPC in this game. So again, let's teleport straight back to the Alchemist Guild. And it is possible if you're patient enough to just sit down and get this all done in one sitting. You know, it, it is within the means of doing that. I personally, I do work, I have a nine to five job and I'm still able to get this stuff done really quickly. So let's hand over, we're handing over a high quality budding rosewood wand that is melded with a quick tongue materia free. That's a bit high quality of course. Wow. Let's skip the cutscene. Cool. Let's hand it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need any of these items. Finish, complete, done. So level 50 alchemist done. Let's wear the level 50 alchemist gear. So we've got this tool. We have, and along the way, guys, you would have picked up a lot of random quest rewards, which you can now vendor or sell. So let's equip all of this gear that we had before on our other classes get that and that muscle and ring so these are the the good accessories let's say and lots of people have been asking me the question is it worth gearing to the max before the expansion it's like no it really isn't the talent set that you can buy for tokens is more than enough so there we go so i've got my little gold outfit i dyed all metallic gold just because you know i'm blue sideburns i am mifri menafil i am all re that's what i do and that's it so that's the level 1 to 50 alchemist power leveling guide done um i think the next power leveling guide i will be making probably be goldsmith so you can see on the list 50 level worker 50 weaver 50 alchemist 50 culinarian all done using the power leveling method so I need to wait a couple of weeks to allow the allowances to recover back to 100. So today we use a total of 78 allowances to get to 50, 1 to 50. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Blue Sideburns.